Hello everybody and welcome back. I am Marcus and today we're playing more 7 Days to Die. So, let's get started. Okay, it's a beginning here. We're going to go and loot this grocery store once again. We've looted it uh, at least twice. It's even three times? I can't quite remember now. So when the first POIs we actually looted, just sort of generally looting. I mean, just we got a couple... Uh, at least we did one quest form as well. Fire zombie. Oh, it's got lit. Uh, I think I could. Are, they're still down here, aren't they? Oh, that's a power. Don't you be stuck. Yeah, I think the spider's on the side, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this pure has one little weakness, which is the fact that uh, when you're up at the roof, or the zombies underneath her, for some reason, actually yeah, aggro as well. Really? Oh, that's some ferals. Okay. What's this place uh, loot now? Uh, where is... Yeah, I feel like the spawn times of these zombies are kind of um, west up. I guess you typically you have the zombies kind of spawning in one after another. Which of course means that like... You won't need to fight uh, them all the time. So. Oh, what? Oh, I think it's casually facing for him. There's more easier. That's neat. Let's see actual second right actors that we have had this year though. So uh, yeah, we start getting those. That's kind of interesting. Let's see the level up for sure. Now, I have been thinking a little bit. About the topic we had about in the last episode, just like how can we speed the series up a little bit? And I actually found a couple, or then found a couple other potential ways we could do that. Uh, so the problem, of course, right now we're noticing is the fact that with the current upload schedule, I'm only able to do two episodes per week, and. Well, I don't really intend to do that the entire year, but at least, like... Really? Feral has been? Yeah, I haven't noticed that before. Or seen that? Hmm. Okay. Should be last up. Yes, okay. 
yeah, so we don't like doing two episodes per week. That, of course, means it's going to take like a full year to get 100 days in. Uh, which is a little problem. Also, this thing is amazing. It won't hit stuff. Oh, wow. Okay. We can actually probably start doing some like tearing up things. That's nice. I can feel the. Uh, yeah. I can feel the uh, clear looting starting to look. So that's of course a bit of a problem because that means right now it's gonna well. Uh, by the time we get a hundred years or a hundred days in, Alpha Twenty One will probably already have been released. I can notice just today they have actually officially stated that the release date. For Alpha 21 should be in 2023. Which happens to be pretty much exactly a full year from now. Or at least within a full year. But uh, well, they have said that uh, multiple times before as well, so... I'm not gonna take anything until I see the uh, update in Steam, but yeah. Uh, now, of course, if that's the case... We would like to, of course, be able to progress quite a bit faster than we currently do. Uh, and same thing right now, basically today, we actually started the series a year ago. Uh, and we're only like 22 episodes in or something, so... Uh, yeah, that's pretty bad. I have uh, not had the, neither time nor motivation to play this. And I finally did start playing Hoi 4. Now, the thing about, of course, right now, though, is that because I can record this, or because I need to uh, upload as many episodes, only two per week, that actually means I can do a lot more off-camera work. One of the major problems with Alpha 20, or Alpha 19, was, of course, the fact that I would like to do a whole bunch of off-camera stuff, but I just couldn't because I didn't have time to, like, record all of it. Yeah, be very careful not double hitting this, because that's gonna destroy the pocket mob, steel tool parts, and some other stuff. Uh, weapons bag. Okay, and the reinforced chest. Okay. Eh, not too bad. Good stuff to be honest. But yeah, so that was kind of the problem. Last time I just simply couldn't record stuff. Now we certainly do have a decent amount of time actually to like, well, actually record things and uh, by that I just progress things off camera. And so, I found like a couple of ways we can do that. Basically, the stuff I can just sort of do quite repetitive things off camera. So let's just become more efficient with stuff. Okay, what do we get? Well, that didn't take long. Nice work. Power only four. 20% 20, 20 more extra damage knockdown on stealing pommels. That's pretty good. Uh, I don't think these other things are too important. Let's take it. Okay. What's up? Two of jobs. Tier four. Uh, pretty much no. Okay, I guess it's tier three then. You look like you could handle yourself. Want to earn some coins? Sure. I think that's the puppet bills. Yeah, so it's the proper bills right there. So this will just uh, jump straight into it, basically. No. Yeah. Nice to make the lights push there. Okay. It's not the FPS panel. Yeah, so speaking of stuff, um, of course, I already had the idea of uh, basically doing more sort of multi day episodes. For the moment, I uh, every single episode is one in game day. And if I were to say combine two days into one episode, that of course would mean I could, you know progress twice as fast. Uh, and I will of course start doing that 
probably not too long, but I actually realize there's another thing we can do which might be even better. And this actually will even increase efficiency. So, one thing I did quite often in Alpha 19 was heading down either to the desert or to like the forest and basically just do a whole bunch of mining. Uh, of course, in the desert it would be sand or oil shale, and just the forest would be the other stuff. And like, did that clearly really too often? Was it like uh, I would basically go down one day and do a bunch of sand mining, and then the next day I would go and do more sand mining. Nice. And that turned out to not be as efficient because, of course, you know, well, first I couldn't dig for the night. Uh, that was mostly just because I wanted to spend the nights in the main base. Uh, but the second was, like, of course, you know, that means I need to travel and all of that stuff. Uh, primary problem with the first is, is the fact that. Uh, well, I could probably spend, you know, two days down there. The problem with that, though, is I would have filled up the gyro. So, I would need to do two trips back to base regardless, so it kind of didn't really matter too much. So, I kind of found a base that one day would be kind of the max amount. Ooh. One in three. Five percent damage would each kill up to 15 percent. Okay. Right, that's another, like, really good thing. I don't really think about it, but it is actually kind of good. Oh, this is just a supply quest, okay. Uh, and so ultimately, of course, that's the thing. Now, in this series, I actually don't want to do too much digging or mining in like the forest by me. I'm gonna try to do all the sort of the industrial scale mining, either in this desert or in the wasteland. Uh, probably a mixture of both. Uh, or also the uh, burnt forest. And so, because of that, of course, that means that this travel problem will become even more problematic. Uh, so... That's kind of the thing. Of course, yeah, sure, I can probably dig a bit more off and things like that, but I still need to transfer stuff back to base, and that is where the probably the major bottleneck will stay. So to solve that issue, what I actually found out is do something I can attempt or plan to do in 1919, but never did. And that's actually basically to build a base down in the desert. Uh, a base primarily for just production stuff, so that means we'll have, uh, we'll have forges there, we'll have uh, cement mixers, yeah, work benches, like that. And so we actually we don't really bring anything back to base over here, we just basically use all the, all the stuff down there and like craft things in the desert as opposed to like bring them back to base and the, uh, crafting stuff here. So that means that, for example, instead of bringing down uh, sand and stone for concrete mix, we just make the concrete shapes down there. I think the concrete shapes are the most like. Uh, resources as we can. And so we just make that down there and then just bring the concrete shapes back to base. Uh, that will also allow us to actually spend a lot longer time, so I plan to probably even spend like entire weeks down there actually. Or down there, I say. I don't actually know where the desert is at the moment. Uh, haven't done too much exploring as well, which is another like thing to note. I've only been to this two cities. Uh, but yeah, uh, there's of course an easy way to figure it out. There's a PNG in the save file where basically the complete map of the entire world is, but uh, I have purposely not looked at it. Since I do want to skirt a little thing. Uh, one thing I'm actually really considering by for Alpha tw uh, 21 is actually starting with a mini bike. Because uh, uh, the early game movement is not fun. I'll tell you that. But yeah. Yeah, so that just means we can basically like go down to the, or go to the desert, wherever that might be. 
And so I just spend the entire week mining and I'll probably just uh, Yeah, just mine throughout the entire days night stuff I'm actually considering in that case even skipping the horde night Because of course if I don't that will mean that we'll end up with two horde night episodes in a row which is kind of uh, Well, not exactly particularly fun uh, so that of course means we can essentially spend 14 hours straight just digging and that's just gonna be all off camera work uh, Which will do wonders for the progression of the series I'm pretty sure uh, I'll probably do the same thing with like the wasteland clearing and stuff as well Hello Oh, hey Rage mode. Oh, let's just go. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, so wasteland clearing as well. I probably do like say a full week of just doing that as well. Uh, just sort of progress stuff. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the plan at least. And uh, with looting as well, I'll probably end up doing say one week of uh, just. Looting a place and then one week off camera uh, Clear looting And of course I may even skip the horde, we'll see Yeah, it'll just sort of depend how things go essentially Maybe it's our week of uh, off camera base building and yeah these things Okay, or actually probably what I'll do is yeah, I'll have like a compress one week of base building into one single episode just doing uh, sets updates Okay, let's take a look and see what we get now. Ah, uh, also by the way, when it comes to mining, I do typically mine with the uh, endless off, just because I like just play some new thing, game sound, and just listen to some music or something. So, yeah. Nice, no look like it's broken. Rubbish lit up. Okay. Okay, what do we get? Good job. I knew you could do it. It's trying to get better stuff, but I mean, uh, I'm just gonna have to take up a little bit more to be honest. Uh, level four ratchet is probably the best. Uh, reset at twenty two. Uh, you may actually have restocked uh, chemistry station. I don't know if we saw that last time, so we can hope. Oh, okay. Really. Doing jobs. Uh, I feel I would maybe like another tier three to be honest. Always looking for some adventurous souls. Have a look. Uh, I've got a bit of a problem. Can you help me out? Formal five. Yeah, sure. If you finish two more jobs. Okay, let's just jump straight into this. We have been for SPI once before. And it turns out to be. A little bit difficult. There is a lot of uh, zeds around here. I'm just trying to sneak a little bit. There's also a couple of mines here, actually. You can see all the red dots. Some bits are sleepers everywhere. Uh, trying to think there's any sort of specific start to this. Is kind of just like let's aggro them, and then we'll just rush towards this. Can snipe anything? Probably not. Any fouls, really? Just okay, lag is real. Mine is that method. Oh. oh, you're not fair. Oh, I Oh, Oh, that's a cup. Oh, 
Oh, turn with them. Uh, I feel like I heard something not so fun. That sounds like a dog. Uh, there's a dog in the house. Okay, there's a dog. It is rather convenient then, like, you sort of know what stuff is. Right. Super unfortunate. Anyways, though, I actually think it's also time to start thinking a little bit about, or talking a little bit about Alpha 21, and specifically the changes that comes to that. Open spider, you can run underneath her as much as you want, and the zombies above will not spawn. Which I also like that. Uh, one of the interesting ones actually when it comes to that lead there is actually that uh, in Alpha 21 there is going to be a setting that allows you to reset chunks over time. So of course uh, in this game you can actually turn loot respawn on, which means that loot will just respawn it's like once every seven days, you can set it to once every um, 30 days, I think it's the default, and like I think uh, less often as well. Oh, vultures. I don't remember, can I? I think actually you can go up here uh, just normally. That's replaceable. That's a feral house or something. Yeah, so you actually reset the chunks, sort of, uh, assuming that you can reset the loot, so like... Every 30 days you can uh, reset all the uh, all the chunks in the game. Apart from like, when you have a better roll system. So I guess that's gonna be a nice thing for servers. That's a... Yeah, that's a fair roll the Limberjack. So I would just jump over here, but I guess I can't. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you're coming up, aren't you? And are you coming? Oh, that was it. Cool. Did that skill points? I have skill points available. Didn't we already take the uh, advanced engineering? Yes. Agility. Parkour. Uh, one meter. So this requires agility level 4. Oh, I guess I need to... Okay, I need one more skill point on. Uh, I, of course, will not be using that thing though, but it's definitely interesting that it's there. available. Oh, well, I realize I should probably empty my entry. Uh, any stuff I'm really interested towards? Um, the new sort of, uh, you know, environmental hazards is pretty cool. The fact you can like realize where there's like uh, broken gas pipes and stuff, which will <gasps> scope first scope. That's huge. That for ages. Oh, right. You just have to. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, I feel like it's pretty cool. Let's see what they can do with that. Uh, there's also for sure stuff I don't like about it though. Um, like for example, the fact that, uh, well, first of course the fact that uh, Bandits has now been officially determined to not be in the uh, update. And also, I don't really think I like the uh, changes to the um, the water stuff either, so I don't know. It's gonna be a fun update, I think, but uh, give of course some stuff. Obviously, of course, not everything has been announced yet, though, so there's still potential for good stuff to come. Congratulations! Yeah. I can make my payment to the Duke now. Level four AK and super high for free antibiotics. Level four range sham shoulder. Well, I guess the egg is probably the more valuable, although actually. Sucking up on that. I guess ammo too, technically. Sure. Fun job. 
100 meters north. You know, I always admired a hard worker. Oh, I'm gonna take it. Oh, thank goodness. And lastly, the new perk, yeah, or the learn by read, or yeah, learn by doing system, is that what I call it? For the new perk, balances also seems to be fairly decent. Uh, the more I read about it, I was a little bit skeptical initially, but let's are going into the. Yeah, this seems good. Okay, we have a decent year, actually. I'm not that. Oh, we actually want meat. Oh, there were actually farm plots. That's a change I feel this game kind of needs. So right now, like, we just simply can't get farm plots early in, which is stupid. Oh, right, of course I have low HP. Are you gonna make me jump that? I yeah, have a couple of zombies, but they're not part of the pure as well. That was a weird flash. Wait, is this a uh, door here or not? Oh, it is. Can you just have two different areas as well? Interesting. Just being a tier 4 in a house, we have to make sure to uh, record it. Oh wow. That's a uh, big thing about these houses, is that you can get cornered really easy, and if you do, you're dead. There's a lot of zombies out there. Honey, nice. Seeds. Well, these beds are actually, and also it's been used like as a makeshift sort of uh, hospital. Really? Well, I don't have a workbench I can make. Okay. I think I have a workbench I can make. I'm probably gonna make it. Yeah, I guess it's gonna be used as a sort of a makeshift uh, mental ward. I think what it says. Oh, I guess I'll see it. Oh, you did that. Let's check what the uh, people was named. Uh huh. Oh, is this the way out? Oh, that's the vulture. Oh, actually, one more thing. Um. I'm actually gonna level up from uh, handing the trader quest, so we can actually now go and do some stuff, and uh, I think what we should do, as I said, is uh, get a little bit more agility, so that means we can get another parkour. That's... So say full distance by another 2 meters, I think that's just actually like, this is 1, and this is 2, oh wait, Increase by one, increase by two. So this is actually plus three meters, say full. So I left them. I would get from these things. Left them flesh. Just free. Well, you're gonna need them for uh, uh there we go. Uh land plots, yeah. May as well start here. Like a generic yeah, garage, actually. I actually wonder when it comes to asset creation if they have like sort of a ready prep garage just lying around. I can just place or uh, just paste them. Probably Google that. Uh, 
right in the squad thing, which is continue on that. Okay. I always found it to be a good weapon though. Cave. It's usually a bad sign. Makeshift cemetery. Similar. into my club. Ooh. Okay. Regular hazmat. Uh, maybe this isn't quite the correct way. Oh. Uh, let's put that. Let's just put that there. Okay. Station. Okay. Barrel lumber truck. Interesting. But somehow this is a good loot room. Because if there's more stuff like this... It looks like I just missed... Oh, actually, right there. I guess there's those vultures. These uh, coffins actually might be kind of decent because uh, with all those perks, you can actually dig them up and uh, get gems and stuff. Granted, gems are kind of useless in this game, but okay. Well, there's at least some good loot. Well, the good loot. Oh, well, not hopefully, but at least some good loot. Uh, two working sips and a passing gas. More cement mixer schematics, well of course. Steel tool schematics, advanced metal connectors, yeah, decent amount of stuff. Yeah, nothing sort of useful though, just more of like hard to useful things. Things super useful. Uh, I can't get not like to kill those vultures because then maybe it would tell me now that um, we are in fact safe. That was definitely the good loot room though. Oh, this is the way up. Okay, what do we get? Now that you have some money to spend, we're running a 10% off sale for the rest of the day. Really? So level 4 steel axe. You give me now. I have a level 4 steel axe. You could of course give me like a Oh, for shovel, 34.8, 40.5, so this is way better. Uh, honestly, the AP round is probably the only useful thing. Iron Breaker mod, I think we're already like set on that, like we have more than we need. Well, I just need one, so I mean, I guess, you know, like I know where I just change it a bit. Let's take the runs. Cool. Uh, you're still reset day 22, that's fine. Nothing this time. Two other jobs. 
Uh, I'm thinking, okay, so probably none of these. Uh, that's me up next up to Emily. Who is there? Oh, bird supplies. Uh, a little bit west. Now, let's take, um, I think I've got clear. a job or two. Farm okay. Be careful and try not to get yourself killed. Oh, that's over there. Okay. Uh, cool. Okay. Last night, we're going to take a look at this farm bundle. Also, we got 2,546 dukes, which is not that bad. What do we get in this? Free of farm plots, blueberry seeds, corn seeds, and potato seeds. Anyways, that's me for today. Hope you liked the video. If you did, please leave a like. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a nice day and goodbye.